Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. Happy New Year! This is your read for January 1st through to the 7th. Um, 2024, can you believe it? It is here. <laughs> so I've already shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the Six of Cups. Next, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Eight of Swords upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Emperor in the upright, and Major Arcana, the High Priestess, reversed. Your overall energy is the Blast from the Past card, the Six of Cups in the upright position. Well, this can indicate for some of you, it could be a nostalgic week. Perhaps some of you are connecting with some old friends. It could be um, a soulmate of sorts. This is also known as the soulmate card. So um, perhaps <coughs> you're reconnecting or connecting with someone that feels like someone from the past. Sometimes this can indicate a past life connection. So that could be happening for some of you. For others of you, this is someone from your past. You could be running into them. You could be, uh, you know, maybe they're contacting you or you're contacting them on social media. It could be getting together with a group of friends or family members that you have not seen in a long time, playing Remember When, having a good old time. So. That's awesome. And right at the beginning of the week, you have the Ten of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful to go along with the, the, the Six of Cups here. <coughs> the Ten of Cups represents a peak emotional experience where we are uh, perhaps attending something. Usually this is with a group of people. This could be anything from maybe, uh, maybe you just met somebody, the one that feels like someone from the past and you're bringing them to a family event or a group event and everybody's getting along really beautifully. It can also represent an event where this could be a birthday party. This could be a big celebration. of. So it could be a wedding for some of you. You're attending a family wedding or like I said, a big birthday. You could be getting together with a lot of people and perhaps you're running into people that you haven't seen in a long time, which generally happens when we do go to big events like such as, you know, big anniversary parties or, um, or, uh, or even, you know, family parties, getting together with the family uh, through wedding or anything like that. There's usually a lot of people there. It's like, I haven't seen you since the last wedding. <laughs> So it looks like a good event. You're starting off the year right on the emotional front. Next card you have is the Eight of Swords in the upright position. Well, this is a card that represents feeling sort of hemmed in, feeling trapped. Now, this could be for a lot of reasons. Sometimes it's just the mind, mostly, you know, the swords do represent the mental, cerebral, the mind. It could be when we are overthinking a situation where we just keep rethinking something over and over again. Say, for example, you you don't like the place where you live and you want to move but you've kind of feel trapped there because it's like well i can't do this because of this because of the snowball effect and everything else that surrounds it so it could be that you know our own mind is giving us reasons why we are trapped in the situation whether it be a relationship whether it be a work situation or um or living circumstances whatever's going on there could be too much thought about it and there also could be too much talk could be sometimes indicating a lot of negative talk of other people piping in you know um, thoughts and ideas coming from the peanut gallery maybe you didn't even ask them for their um, opinion about something but they're piping in and you feel painted into a corner it could be the other people maybe that you're talking to at this family event or this party or something like that but there's a feeling of sort of struggling to get past that feeling of being trapped in something. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Emperor here, Mars ruled energy, um, Scorpio and Aries both um, vibe with this energy. So <clears throat> it could be because this is you coming up in your own reading as the Emperor in the upright position, indicating you are on the right path, Aries, moving towards the things that bring you a certain level of control. Now this could be in business, this could be in the home, this could be at work, it could be in any place where you kind of have to lay down the law. There could be a situation like that where you feel the need to keep control. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is perhaps being overly controlling about some things. 
again, they're just general reads. Just take what makes sense in your scenario. Last card you have moving out of the weekend is the High Priestess in the reverse position. The High Priestess upright points to hidden knowledge, things that are being kept from us, that we need to listen to our intuition in order to figure out what's really going on. When the card is inverted, however, this is where secrets could get spilled. This is where the truth could come out about something or maybe you look behind the curtain and you're able to discover something that you didn't know before you didn't realize before now hopefully this will help you in this scenario maybe whatever you uncover will help you to feel less trapped in a situation but you know I hate to leave you with a cliffhanger here but it is uh, the last card in your spread so you're gonna have to let us know in the comment section below if this made sense to you and uh, do tell us how so so the um, high priestess reversed is simply letting you know that something uh, big could come out now if it does come out um, this is something that's kind of faded it's meant to come out it's not like uh, one of those things where you go snooping around looking for information and you uncover something ahead of time. Like remember Mercury retrograde will be over by this period. We'll be in the shadow period, yes. But this is something because it is a major arcana that's bringing this big reveal. It could be that you are dealing with uh, something that was faded or meant to come out. This is could be anything could be it's usually pretty big like big information now it could be connected to your past it could be connected to your family it could be connected to something else um, and the only way we're going to know about it is if you let us know in the comment section below but I wish you all the best in uh, 2024 and I want to thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic week also, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye for now.